it's Abby, and I guess this is technically part two of my Tokyo Disney haul. I already have it laid out here. This is the memory go round, I think it's called, because the 40th anniversary is called dream go round. I want to put this together because I have two different ones, and I know I said I might make a short, but why don't we open these blind boxes today and these blind bags? So we have some pins to open and some memory go rounds to make. Let's start with this one. Tokyo Disney makes pretty good custom charms and customized like items. Um, before you used to fill in a piece of paper and they give you the parts or put it together for you. Now it's not as limited and you can pick and choose yourself and you know buy different parts to swap out. So I think that's pretty cool. You also lose track of how much it's gonna cost because there's so many possibilities and this is a lot. Anyway, look at these are all the letter parts. So you can put up to eight letters on to the charm and I think there's 16 here if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to figure out what words but here are all of them and each letter is 200 yen when you think about it very very overpriced for the little bead but that's the Disney price. First piece the base 2,300 yen and it's in a resealable bag, so I guess if you buy multiple ones and you swap out pieces, you can put it back in here. I don't know. Ooh, it comes with a pretty key. It's on this glittery paper. Oh, I think I am gonna need scissors though. It's like plastic zip tied in here. How to put the ear parts on, how to put the alphabet parts on, and the moment parts. And then how to remove them. I only have these chunky kitchen scissors right now because I haven't moved over all my tools from the house yet, but they should work just fine. The metal charms, oh this one didn't cut, did I forget to cut this one? Here is the base. It's the, I guess, bronze with the blue 40th ear. And I should bring over my Disney Sea Anniversary one and my Tokyo Disney one from five years before because they all kind of match actually. Very nice. So you can either have it this way or you can have it this way. And I thought that was really cool. Okay, let me pull out the other parts and we'll try to put it together. Here's number two. This is Big Bam Beat, one of the best shows at Tokyo Disney Sea. I think both of these are Tokyo Disney Sea themed, even though it's Disneyland's 40th anniversary. The parts that were appealing were from Disney Sea because I think that's my favorite park. Anyway, this was 1900 yen. Again, very expensive. The red and black's really nice. If these parts weren't so expensive, I would definitely get more of them. Here it is. Can you see Mickey playing the drums? And mini dancing, I think? That's so cool. It looks like there's a little toggle button here. I'm assuming this will fit right in. There we go. So look at it spins this way. Oop, that's not in all the way. Hold on. There we go. It spins this way. And this way. So obviously you can have it showing like this with Prometheus and Disneyland. Or you can have it this way. It's so cool. Here's the ear part for this one. Obviously it is Donald. They had Fab 5, 8. They had Duffy, just Duffy I think, exclusive for Disney C. And they had a Tinkerbell. I can't remember what other ear parts they had, but they had a bunch to choose from. This was 600 yen. Oh, it's just like a pin. Interesting. I feel like this is probably just going to snap on, right? Here's Donald. Do I just snap it in? Yup. It said something about removing it, I think, but I don't know. There's a little key ring. Hold it if you want to make it into a bag charm. It's very heavy though. I don't think I would want this on my bag. Okay, let's figure out these letters. This is why we read the instructions first. I need to take the little key and remove this part. Oh boy. 
And then I take this side of the key and um, I'm not sure. Hold on. What do the instructions say? It looks like you just push it. Hold on. Let me try to do this off camera. That was scary. I had to push really hard, but it came off. Now I can slide the alphabet parts on. Here are the letters that I'm going to be putting on this one. Sam and L. My two schnauzers. You slide. There we go. Here's the first letter. I'm going to go put the others on and then I'll show you how it looks all together. Here it is put together. Sam and L. And I put the little end piece back on. And I put the middle piece back in too. That is a fun fidget toy. Which way do you like it? Do you like it this way? Or do you like it this way? I kind of like it this way. You can kind of see the memory go around inside. Okay, so let me get the stand for this one. We have the cradle, they call it number seven. This was pricey. 3,700 yen. Not gonna lie, this one is actually Mr. Panda's and these are all parts that he picked out. He picked Donald because you'll see in a second I picked something else. So he was like, you, we have to have Donald. And he doesn't really have a favorite character that was in the lineup. So they didn't have Oswald. He fancy, so he got the expensive cradle. This is insane. It's so heavy. It says Tokyo Disney Resort. It reminds me of the float in Dreaming Up where Peter Pan and Wendy fly. I'm gonna assume we just hang this on here. Oh, that's so pretty. Obviously, I think it should go this way, but what do you think? If we do it the other way? Oh, it's actually not bad this way either because it kind of matches the etching on the side. So this is the bronze and the bronze. This is the first one. Which way do you like it? Do you like it this way? Or I guess it could be turned this way too because there's design on this side as well. I'll show you the design on the cradle up close. It's very pretty. Lots of little places from Tokyo Disney. I see Small World, Indiana Jones, a pirate ship, Arabian Coast, the canoes. But yeah, that was the first one. Does anyone want to do the math and add that up? I certainly don't. I like the aspect of being able to pick and choose yourself, but it does create a lot of trash. I could reuse these to send sticker flakes to my friends. It's actually really cute, except for the fact that it says like a letter on it. Next one is mine. I went for the gold one because I got the bronze for my Disney C one. I think it's bronze. But my Disneyland 35th anniversary one is the pretty gold. So I thought I would match it. I got the cheaper stand and it was gold. So I thought this would match better too. Here it is. It's pretty gold, kind of a yellow gold. And then the ear part is kind of a pink glittery white. I really like that. They both have the castle design. And then my moments part is Storm Rider because this is one of the rides that got replaced by an IP themed ride, Nemo, which is still cute, but I miss Storm Rider a lot. And I was so excited that they made some merch for an old ride. So I had to grab this one. They had a bunch and I could not decide. If they do seasonal ones, I'll probably make another if I can. I was gonna say my color scheme might actually go on the bronze one better, but once you put the ear part in, it cannot be removed. So I guess I'm sticking with this. Here's my memory part. It is Storm Rider, which for those of you that don't know, was a simulator ride, but it was so good. It was original to Disney Sea and so many quotable moments. If you're a Disney Sea fan, it, you know it. You 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 love it. My ear part is Duffy because I love Duffy and I liked the blue color. And since I got Storm Rider, I just wanted to have like all over Tokyo Disney Sea vibes. Look at him. He's adorable. I love Duffy. Even now putting this together, I'm like, did I make the right choice? But here we go. Cannot be removed. And let me put my alphabet parts on and I'll show you what letters I got. You can probably guess. And here is my moments go round. Mine says Lorien. I got a castle and then a little Mickey. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. So the silver kind of doesn't match the gold, but you know what? 
Not a big deal. I like how it looks from this side with the duffy ear. And here is my stand. Like I said, I did not have the budget that Mr. Panda had, so I got the 2,300 yen one. Um, it's still a really great stand though, I think. Plus, I like that the color matches too. It says Tokyo Disney Resort. It's heavy. It's so good. And then I think there's a little hole here. I think there were some charms and stuff you could buy too if you're doing the bag charm. Or just to like put on the ear here, like extra stuff. Enhance. It looks so good on the stand. It kind of perches on the crown, but it also is locked in there. So even if you, I mean, you don't want to knock it over. I know Disney does many, many souvenirs from like plushes to like cans for food, stationery. I love the stationery, but these are my favorite. And I know they cost a lot, but I always feel like these are worth collecting. So leave me a comment, which one do you like better? Do you like the crown stand or the hanging stand? Visually, the hanging stand is very, very pretty. I do like them color matched. Shall we try swapping them out and see if they go with the other colors? You know what, it's not horrible, but it does make the bronze look a little bit more dull compared to the gold. It definitely works. If they had this in gold, I would be tempted, but I think I'm happy with mine put it on my toy shelf and I think Mr. Panda said he was going to take his to work to put on his desk. Now we have some blind boxes to open. I have these two Duffy and Friends blind boxes. They are pins and there is one pin in this box. I'm not sure if it's a big pin or not but it was 1,100 yen and 1,100 yen is pretty expensive for just one pin I feel like. So I'm hoping it fills the box but I guess we'll find out together. I really want Lena Bell and Duffy. They're my favorites. I don't know the correct way to open this, but I don't know if that was it. There, that's better, right? Is it gonna be in a baggie or a, oh, it's, it's in there. Let's do this. Oh, it's gelatoni and it's, not as small as a regular pin, but it's not mega big either. A lot of detail though. What do you think, for 1100 yen, worth it or not? Hmm. Add on 300 yen more, I could buy a Pop Mart figure. I could also buy two or three gotchas. Hmm, is it the Disney price? The design is adorable though. Party Gelatoni. I'm not mad at that one, I have a lot of friends that like Gelatoni. I think the only one that I would actually be upset about is Olumel. Cookie Ann is okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, there she is, Shelly Mae. I don't know how I'm supposed to be opening this box. Okay, she's a cutie. Gelatoni and Shelly Mae. I like that they have pearlescent enamel for their clothes. This pants are blue pearlescent and Shelly Mae's skirt is kind of a pink peach pearlescent. You know what, these pins are very well made. They're very clean and quite crisp. Will I get more? Probably not, but was this fun? Definitely. Here we have more pins. This is 1300 yen for two, and these are the different designs you can get. If you saw my previous Disney haul, I bought a bunch of merch and stationery from this line. It's called Happiness Everywhere, and it gives me small world vibes. They even use it here, but. It's different attractions and food and characters from around the Tokyo Disney parks. I really want Chandu. Chandu's my favorite. I like the Mickey Ice Pops. Tinkerbell's cute, a little bit basic, but she is like the symbol of Disneyland Hotel. There's a Donald, Mickey Mouse Waffle, Henry. There are a lot of good ones in here. I think I'm gonna do this. So we can come back and look at the designs. They're both in this box. Oh yeah, look at that. Interesting. It's a blind box within the bag. Oh, that's a circle. This could either be the Mickey Waffle or the Small World Clock. Mickey Waffle! So I think the pairs are all the same, potentially, because I think you can buy a full box of these and get the full set. Oh, wait, spoilers. I didn't realize that was there. 
I got my boy Donald riding Jungle Cruise. When you look at this size, they're definitely a lot smaller than the Duffy ones. I have one from volume two and one from volume three. So here is volume two. I want Shiriku Tundu from Tower of Terror. Sora and Minnie's cute. The balloons are cute. Mmm, I'd like the Mickey Planter from the Disneyland entrance or the Mickey Bus. I feel like these are pins that I would actually maybe put on my Disney bag. Let me know if you'd like to see a what's in my Disney bag video. Now that it's cooling down, oops, spoiler, I really want to make more Disney Parks content. Even just like food vlogs, I think that'd be so much fun. And we have the Mickey bus. I don't know if it's the lighting, but it looks like it's the resin on top is slightly yellowing or maybe that's how it's colored. Hmm. Because pins do yellow. A lot of mine have, even though I keep them out of the sun. And I love this one. This is the Mickey Mouse planter you can see as you enter Tokyo Disneyland. Look at, I have a Mickey waffle and a Mickey planter. That's fun. Today's a good day for pins. This is volume three. I think this is the most recent one. Came out a few months ago. July? I want to say maybe a little bit earlier than that. We love Big Band Beat Mickey. Oh, is that Tower of Terror Donald? Oh, I like the restaurant sign. Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen. Or, oh, the Small World Cheetah. Okay, let's open it up and we'll see. It's interesting that they put it in a box. I guess so you can't cheat and feel the pins, maybe? We'll pull them out one at a time. Can we guess from the shape? I have no clue. Chippendale's Treehouse. Okay, so this is in Toontown. There's a little treehouse, or actually a big treehouse, that you can go and play in. And this is a sign that's in front of it. The other one is, oh. Oh, I bet this is Sebastian. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Here it is, Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen. I think they're all in here as pairs because we got the bus and the garden, Donald and the waffle, and Sebastian and Chippendale, so. I think they come as set pairs. I think my absolute favorite's the Mickey Waffle. I like this sign. I like when they turn signs and pop from like attractions and restaurants into merch. Third would probably be this one. Fourth. And then Donald riding Jungle Cruise. And then Ship and Dale. We can compare these two in size. See, they're a lot smaller, so maybe this one is worth 1100 yen. Let's slide these in again. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more Tokyo Disney content from me, and if you just like these kind of random chatty videos because I enjoy making them. Here are our, that's hard to say, here are our, here are our secret combo posters from a last premiere. Thanks so much for being there. And if you guys want to be featured in the next video, Make sure to come to the video premieres and crack the code for the secret emoji combo. I'll see you all next time. Bye!